championship. Figure that big gold trophy is worth some goodwill when he returns to Canada Wednesday night. Despite leaving for L.A. in free agency in the offseason, one would expect a loving embrace for Leonard's return. Less like the reception of a wrestling heel and more like a reunion with a dear family friend who can't ice skate, but, you know, he knows Drake and Woj knows all. Kawhi Leonard dominating right now. Best player on planet Earth. Got it! Kawhi Leonard. The bright, brief, unforgettable comet across the sky of a Canadian winter in springtime. He arrived with a cackling laugh <laughs> and a championship pedigree. The Toronto Raptors are NBA champions. Delivering the Toronto Raptors a parade and promptly disappearing into the distance. Back to his California home, a Los Angeles Clipper. Leonard left a legacy and a blueprint for contention. Raptors president Masai Ujiri hadn't only assembled an NBA champion, but a sustainable contender. He lords over a player development machine, a resourceful scouting department that mines the world for underdeveloped prospects and transforms them into overachieving NBA players. Siakam jams it down. Pascal Siakam has evolved into an MVP candidate. Marcus Saul is a master of his craft. Fred Van Vliet is the heir to all-star Kyle Lowry, the point guard who will forever live in Raptors lore. And Nick Nurse, the minor league journeyman coach, has shown himself to have major league staying power. Attack these dudes! Don't pull back! Take it at them! Even without Leonard in the lineup a season ago, the Raptors won 17 of 22 games. Kawhi will assuredly hear a rousing ovation upon his return to Toronto on Wednesday because his is the rarest of feats. A one and done who raised the banner and left behind a franchise fortified for the long run. Good things happen when you play Nick Nurse basketball. All right, NBA Wednesday doubleheader features top NBA teams. There you go. Kawhi heading back to Toronto with the Clippers. Kyle Lowry, Pascal Siakam. That's 7 o'clock Eastern. Then it's Giannis. I like big bucks hosting the Pelicans. They've won 15 in a row. They're pretty much the greatest team ever assembled. Uh, both games are on ESPN and the ESPN app. Is there next? Pro game, Hawks Heat. These teams stubbornly played on even after John Trotton had declared the outcome decided. We're picking it up late, fourth quarter. Four minutes to go. Heat are down five. Kendrick Nunn, little flotation device right there. He had a career best 36 points to lead his three. Duncan Robinson did all kinds of damage. You'll see that throughout this highlight. We're even at 111. Couldn't hold on, though. Hawks going to come back. Buck 38 left. They're up two. Trey Young's driving layup is good for the second-year man from Oklahoma. And then one more time. Young to Alex Len, who puts that in. And check out Young. There he is. He's declared it. It's over. Hawks would lead by six. It's over with less than a minute to go. Next possession, Robinson. It's not entirely over if I make a three. Splash! And the deficit's cut in half. 40 to go. One possession game. DeAndre Bembry drives. Derek Jones swats away the shot. Still with a chance. Here's Jim Butler. Rise and fire. We're tied at 117. Butler third triple-double in seven days. Six straight points. And guess what? The game is decidedly not over. We're going to overtime. Robinson. How about a little three right there? That is so smooth. Next possession. Bam out of bio. Because three is good, it's more points, but the higher percentage shot is let Bam get all up in there with two hands. So the Heat led by five. They're on 11-0 run since Young's declaration. Next time down the floor, and there's Jones Jr. It's a 13 straight, 13-point uh, run. One more time. Duncan Robinson. Ought to be young and athletic. I got. I, I, I feel like I need some Advil just watching that. 326 left. We'll keep on running. Out of bio. Sweet little fake, bam. His first career triple-double, 30, 11, and 11. Good stat sheet by him. we got 218 left in overtime. The Heat by 10. They don't want to be, they're going to keep going because you never know when the game might be over. Butler to Robinson. Robinson, 10 of 14 from behind the arc. Ties the Heat franchise record for threes with Mario Chalmers, Rio, and Brian Shaw, 34 points. Now it's over. A little 22-0 run took care of that. Heat win, 135-121. After the game, uh, there's our boy Trey Young on the Twitter, <laughs> realizing that perhaps he had um, prematurely declared the outcome. Welp. 
Jimmy Butler on Instagram, he rubbed it in. Uh, this man, Trey Young, is a teller of the future. He was right. The game was over. Just took longer. Uh, then there are these notes from the historic game. I think you can find these either on my Twitter or Neil's. Two players had triple doubles. Two more scored 30 points. First team to do that in a game in NBA history. Duncan Robinson, Kendrick Nunn. First pair of undrafted teammates ever to uh, each score 30 points. Good scouting there. Plus, the 14-point win was the largest in the last 20 years by a team that trailed in the final minute of regulation. Coming up on Sports Center. So the Rich Creamies set a franchise record for the largest fourth quarter comeback last time they played in Philadelphia. World Be Free is out there ringing the bell. I still like to call him Lloyd, but I'm a child of the 70s. Sixers down one. That's very nice. Dival's in there, throws it down. Big dunk over Mason Plumley. Uh, there are a lot of Plumleys. That one's Mason. Same thing. Knocks it down from far. So we, we, we got range. I can shoot from up close or behind the three. Late second quarter, Sixers up six, Joel Embiid. Uh, oh, Joel decide that Plumlee's not allowed in there or in transition, Tobias Harris. Ben Simmons, Ben, shoot a three. No, he's gonna dunk it. Okay, that's fine, better for him. Sixers up 41-33. Nikola Jokic not happy, didn't play particularly well. Nuggets down 13, Jokic back in the game. Still hadn't attempted a shot at that point. Hard to score if you don't shoot. Just keeps working, working, you got nothing there. Mike Malone would like a foul. Uh, he, he would really like, I don't know if that's visual evidence or some sort of a brief he was filing, but whatever it is, he got a technical. What they did not get was a bucket. There you go. Now clean up your things. You've been bad. Two seconds left in the third. Sixers by five. Embiid. Wow. We're playing horse. That, that's certainly a letter. If it's E, you're out. You're done. Hit 22 and 10. Sixers win at 97-92. Improved to 13 and... Go to the Great Northwest, find out if Carmelo Anthony be a Knickerbocker back or break. Of course, uh, the Knicks is where he thought he would hang his hat. Instead, he moved around and got lost. Found his way to Portland, Damian Lillard. You give him any space, he'll, he'll make you feel lost. That was 28 feet right there. He's all bio-freezed out from 30 right there. Coming off the screen a minute later. For the love of Billy Ray Bates. I mean, what's he doing? Another three. You go under the screen like Dotson does, you will pay three times. From 27, it's Lillard again. Oh, step back. Bobby Jack! His average shots would take him to 26 feet. He, he, he was hit 17 in the first quarter, 5 of 6 from 3. He finished 8 of 12 from 3. The Knicks finished 7 to 38 from 3. Woo! 31 points, 29 minutes for Lillard. Carmelo Anthony, 25 minutes, 3 of 4 from 3, 5 of 13 from the field, 4 rebounds, 2 steals, no assists, 3 turnovers, finished with 16 points. The big number is that number right there, 115 to 87. Portland. And the Bucks just keep on winning, getting a 15th straight victory Monday night, 110 to 101 over the Magic, extending the fourth longest winning streak in team history. Giannis Antetokounmpo finished with 32 points and 15 rebounds in the win. Milwaukee now 21 and 3 on the season, tied with the Lakers for the best record in the NBA. In a crazy back and forth game down the stretch, the Kings beat the Rockets on an Amenia Bielitsa buzzer three, buzzer beater three. Sacramento, by the way, leads the NBA with three buzzer beaters over the the last two seasons. Buddy Heald led Sacktown with 26. Russell Westbrook had a game and season high 34 for Houston. The Pistons beat the buzzer to beat the Pelicans 105-103. Derrick Rose had 21, 17 in the fourth, including that go-ahead bucket with 0.3 seconds left. Andre Drummond with 13 and 10, his 20th double-double this season. Only Giannis with 22 has more. And Jay, the Celtics got a big boost Monday in their 110 to 80 win over the Cavs. Gordon Hayward returned right. from a broken left hand, an injury that had sidelined him for a month. He was 7 to 10 from the floor, scoring 14 points in 26 minutes as the Celtics improved to 17 and 5 on the season. So they did a nice job without him. And Boston is now 10 and 0 at home this season. They are averaging over 114 points a game on their home floor thus far at the Garden winning by more than 10 points per contest. They're one of just three teams who still have yet to lose at home this season, joining the Sixers and the Heat.
Hannah to Australia.